Welcome back. Today on Real Reviews, we are here with another karaoke machine review. This speaker was sent to us by Pseudotac. So thank you very much, Pseudotac, for sending us the speaker. And as you can see, it is a new Bluetooth karaoke speaker. It is called the Music Capsule. The actual model number of this is the KM300. So here is the box, what it looks like. You have the front, the back. You can see kind of like what the speaker is. This actually comes with uh, it's 45 watts of power. So you have a three and a half inch speaker that has 30 watts, which is bass. Then you have a two and a half inch speaker, which is 15 watts, and that's going to give you your treble and your highs. And it also has some passive boosters, as they call them, on the sides, kind of like some of the speakers out there that you've seen from maybe JBL. And it kind of helps to reverberate the bass out a little bit. It actually supports up to four mics. You have two wireless mics, and it's also two wired mics you can use. It can connect to your TV with HDMI ARC. They also have some coaxial connections and other connections to use if you want to be able to use your TV for karaoke. You have tone adjustments, nine RGB effects. It has a tablet holder on it. It also has a cat ear like lighting effect on it. So we're going to be able to go over all of that. Pretty cool. And uh, what else do we have here? Deep bass, large battery capacity, all kinds of stuff here on the side. You could actually even record your singing and supposedly you could even cut out the vocals of a song. So I don't know if that works or not. We could try it out. And from what I've read so far, it's about four hours of battery life. Not sure how long it takes to charge this thing. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what we get here. All right. So the first thing we have is some packaging material on the top. We have the manual right here. Very nice. That off to the side. We have some uh, cables here. What do we get? We have like a strap for it. A little strap for the speaker. And we have a uh, charging cable. This is USB-C uh, charging cable. And then we have a 3.5 millimeter input if you want to use a, uh, I don't know, MP3 player or something. You got the two mics. So here's mic one. And uh, will these roll off? I guess these mics do roll, so be careful about that. So you got mic one. You have mic two. And now these microphones, they are rechargeable mics, so don't start unscrewing them because just to let you know, you can actually unscrew this mic and you can pull it apart and everything, but you don't want to do that because you don't need to do that. So just leave it all put together, leave it put together. It is rechargeable. It has a charging port on the bottom, USB-C. So, you know, a lot of people, they get in the habit of these mics having to um, have batteries installed and so they start unscrewing it. So no need to unscrew it. Just flip it underneath here. You can see it has USB-C charging ports for your mics. So there's your two mics. And um, just to mention too, the mics, they do actually have some controls on them. So you can actually adjust the volume of the mics. This has a sound, like a voice changer button. This is for your accompaniment up and down. I'm not really sure what that is, if, if it's the backing track or what that is. And you also have some EQ buttons and I'm not really sure how those work either. And then your power button. So we're going to try to figure all of that stuff out and let you guys know how everything works. So pull this piece out right here, and then here is the machine. Now, there is no real easy way to grab this because there's not a handle on this machine. There's not a handle on the device. I just kind of grab it by the plastic bag to get it out of the box. So another thing to be careful about when you're taking it out, don't jam your finger into the side because this is where it has a little passive speakers here, little passives on the sides. So you don't want to like grab it and jam your fingers into it. There is not a handle on this, but it does actually have this cool strap here. So we'll just grab this right here, see how this is. Now this does have um, these kind of like rotate around, has a little cool little, I don't know, lever here to open it up. Go ahead and clip it on and see how this is. So it kind of just clips like this, a little bit different than I was thinking. And I guess it holds pretty well. About to get a cramp in my hand. All right, there we go. So that's clipped on there. So you got your little carrying straps. So you can kind of carry it around with that. And you probably want to get that on there right away since it doesn't have a handle on the back just so you can be able to pick it up and without damaging the sides. So we hope we have that handle on there right now. We'll just go ahead and leave that. And now let's just take a look at the top here. It does have some plastic on the top. So we're gonna go ahead and just peel this off so we can see what we're working with. Okay, and we have the buttons here started from this side. We actually have the lighting mode adjustment button. We have the brightness button. We're gonna have the tone um, down button. This is the accompaniment tone down. And I guess that's to lower the background track. This is actually the voice music only button i guess is what they call it and what that button is supposed to do is if you're playing a song that isn't just karaoke it actually has the vocals in it it tries to cut the vocals out as best as it can so you can sing karaoke on the track now we keep going over here we have the tone plus button so that's going to bring the accompaniment tone or the background track uh, louder and then you have the reverse button previous song fast backwards reverse 
you have play pause button, you have the ne next song, fast forward, then we're going to have the recording mode if you wanted to record yourself. Not sure where that's stored, we got to play around and check that out. We have an EQ mode, which has different uh, EQ or scene effects like hall and concert, stuff like that. Then we have the mode button over here, which enables you to switch between your different modes like Bluetooth or, or all the different connection modes um, if you're plugging it into your TV. Then you have your power on and off button. Then we get over here to the dials. So right here, we actually have the wired microphone volume knob. We have a low and high, so it's basically treble and bass right here for your actual speaker sounds. This is your reverb or your echo knob right here. And this is actually going to be your volume button right here, your volume knob. And then you have a nice little spot right here. You're able to put your tablet in it. This is like a 12-inch tablet right here, and it just fits in there perfectly, and it holds it up. So if you want to use that to do karaoke, so you can like put YouTube on your tablet. You can have your karaoke going here with your lyrics, and then it can be Bluetoothing to the speaker. And that just makes it simpler than connecting it to your TV. So we'll get back to that in a bit and we'll check that out. The front, we have the subwoofer, we have the tweeter, and then we have these other speakers right here on the sides. These are the uh, passives. They're not actually speakers. They just help to like um, kind of reverberate the sound, what have you. And then we'll go flip it around to the back here. On the back of the speaker, we actually have wired mic one, wired mic two. We have a line in right here. You want to put, use like a MP3 player. You have an SD card slot here to be able to play your music from. USB flash drive, you have the HDMI ARC connection. This is to connect to your TV, also coaxial connect to your TV. And then you have your USB-C charging plug right here. Now, one thing I do like about this particular speaker is that it has a spot to put the mics in, so you can hold your mic. It doesn't charge the mics in there, but it's still a good placement spot for your mic so you're not dropping them all over the place. So you have your carrying handle, you have your microphones in the slot, and that's pretty cool because I really like the karaoke machines that have the spot for the mics in them. That's really nice. So you don't just lose your mics and it's really easy to pick it up and carry them around like that. So first off, let's go ahead and turn this on and see what we get. Hold down the power button for a couple of seconds. Check it out. Cat-like LED lighting. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this on and get it connected to Bluetooth. Now, when you turn the speaker on, it's already in pairing mode. You can see right here it's flashing. So it's actually already ready to be connected to Bluetooth. You see right here it's flashing. All right, so we're going to go ahead and connect it. Turn Bluetooth on. And on your device, it is going to be called PseudoTac Music Capsule. So go ahead and click that. Connecting. And here we go. Connected. connected. And obviously Bluetooth is connected. So there we go. And so the first thing we could try real quick is let's just go ahead and um, before we even play a song, let's try one of these microphones. Let's just turn it on. So here's the power button. You hold it down for a couple seconds. You're going to notice a light light up inside here. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. All right. So it has like some type of reverb. Go ahead and turn the reverb down. Turn it all the way up. There we go. And then you have your mic volumes right here up and down. So you can turn it down a little bit. There we go. There's not an indicator as to how high your mic volume is on here. So you kind of just kind of like click on it and see like how it is. There we go. Okay. A little bit lower. I think when you get to the bottom, it might beep. There we go. So it beeps at the absolute bottom. There's no mic volume. Here's mic volume one, and then it goes up from there. On the mic itself, it does have these um, sound effects. So here we go. Male. Male I'm sound effect. Bird. That's I'm how it sounds. Bird. Male. Female. Female. Okay. okay. That's, That's female. female. <laughs> Let's see what else they got. Magic. Magic. So if you're a magician, this is what you sound like, guys. Children. And children, so you can make fun of your kids or uh, sing some of those uh, Chippendale songs or not Chippendale. What is the name? Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oops, happened. Origin. Okay, so origin. There we go. Origin is basically just the original, the way that you actually sound. Now it does have these accompaniment buttons. Not sure what they do or EQ buttons. Okay, guys. So I just had to take my mic off so you could be able to listen to the speaker for how it actually sounds. And I'm going to go ahead and play a couple of songs here. So let's just see what we got. I'll uh, play three songs here. So first one is going to be What is Love by Kevin MacLeod. Let's check this one out. All right, we got another one right here. We have Spellbound by Kevin MacLeod. <laughs> And then last 
last, we have another one, Vampire. This is by YouTube. I like to use this song on real bassy speakers so you can kind of get an idea of what type of bass this speaker is able to output. Let's go ahead and check it out. That speaker really sounds good for its size. I mean, I was really surprised. It had it sounds pretty clear and it's really able to deliver some bass for what for what it's offering here. So not bad at all. Definitely pleasantly surprised by that. So there you have that. Now, if you want to go ahead and play this speaker, it's you know the way that it was designed as a karaoke machine. You want to be able to connect your Bluetooth to it just like we did. So you bring up something like YouTube, like I have my channel right here, Real Reviews. You just put it up here at the top. And then you can just go ahead and play whatever song you want. So if you're going to play a karaoke, just go ahead and click on it. And then here you go. You will have your video. You have your karaoke. You can be able to do that just like that. Pretty Welcome cool. back today on Real Reviews. We are here with some JBL speakers. What I wanted to do today is I actually wanted to get... So you have your words right there. All the sound is going to come out of the speaker. So there you go. You get to play right through from your tablet right to your speaker. So you can go ahead and put some karaoke on there and you'll be able to go ahead and sing with your friends and your family. So you have your dual microphones right here. And just to mention about the microphone, I kind of figured out what these other buttons do. So this is the accompaniment up and down. So the accompaniment is basically just the music track. So this just raises and lowers the volume of the music track. So then that way you can have the volume of the speaker up a little bit louder. So your voice is louder through the microphone and then you can raise or lower the volume of the actual background track or the music track that you're using for your karaoke. So that's the way that that works. And just to show you the lighting effects on here, because we didn't quite go over lighting effects. This one goes with the music. Then you also have another eight different lighting modes. So you kind of just go through them with the lighting button here. And here's all the different fun lighting effects. I don't know if any of the other ones go with the music. I think only that first one does. And so that's it. That was the last one. So this is the one that goes with the music. And then the rest of them, they don't really go with the music, but they're just kind of fun to watch. And then on here, one of the other things was the um, EQ mode, which I wasn't sure about, but this EQ mode, room, room party. party, recording studio, concert hall, idol concert, origin. And that's original. So basically all this does is it does have some like, uh, I guess, preset EQ modes that will kind of try to make it sound like one of those different settings that you just mentioned right there. So overall, this is really a cool little portable karaoke slash Bluetooth speaker because it's not just for karaoke. I know it does have the microphones, but you can actually take these out. You can leave them behind. You can always bring this with you. If you have like a barbecue or something outside, you might want to just have a cool Bluetooth speaker. And this could actually serve that purpose. You do have an adjustable strap right here, so you're able to carry it around. And it's not too heavy, but we're going to go ahead and find out exactly how much it weighs real quick. And I know a lot of people like to know how much the speakers weigh. So here's our little scale. Go ahead and put it down on the scale. Let's see what we got. So it weighs almost six pounds, 5.7 pounds. But we have there for a weight on it. And as far as measurements go, let's see what it measures out to be. So you're talking about 13 inches by roughly seven and a half inches by, how tall is that? I guess it's about seven inches tall. And with the mics in it, it's about 10 inches tall. And mics, they measure roughly nine inches, almost nine inches. About uh, eight and three quarter inches. And um, top wise, they're about, I don't know, one and three eighths inches on the top. So there you go. You have all your measurements right there and you have your weights. Overall impression of the speaker is I really do like it. Uh, the buttons on the front, I think there maybe is a little bit too many buttons here, but I guess you could use them all. I didn't try the recording function or the playback function. I'm not really sure how that works. But what I do know is that you do have to have a SD card in there for that to work at all. But the speaker overall works really well. It sounds really nice. The microphones work well. And um, overall, it was just a good experience, especially this little spot right here where you can put your tablet. I think that was definitely a nice little addition 
that some of the other Bluetooth speakers, either they didn't have it or the slot that they have didn't actually work well for the tablet to fit inside of it. Thank you very much, Sudatech, for sending us this speaker. And thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you never miss another video on Real Reviews. See you guys next time.